big shout out, like gigantic shout out to Grassy Hill Auctions on Instagram. He hooked me up with this 401 closet cop. An incredible piece of clothing, actually. He gets a lot of clothing. He says he's got a huge storage space with tons of stuff that he's getting. And I believe he wants to make more relationships with resellers. Piece options, wholesale options, I really don't know. You can always reach out to him on Instagram, kind of see where it goes from there. I will put a link to his stuff in the description and uh, let's kind of go over what's going on with the piece of clothing. So he reached out to me a couple of weeks ago about this jacket that he found and I, I couldn't really find anything active or completed on eBay. And then I told him, you run an auction or list it high. That's what I would do for something that's polo, something that's vintage, color block, polo, run an auction or price it really high. If you don't see any active, don't see any comps, that's what I would do. He was persistent about me buying it. So I offered 25 bucks more than I would pay at like a thrift store if I didn't know anything about it. Finally, I got it in the mail. We're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna try it on and then we're going to put it in the closet, put it in the 401 closet. All right, there's our box, completely destroyed by USPS. Let's get into this thing. And he put on it, 401k closet. <laughs> and luckily he bagged it, because if you would have not bagged it, and then this thing gets wet or whatever on a porch, and then the clothes potentially could get ruined. But he bagged it, which is very smart. Makes for a better presentation as well. And PRL, Polo Ralph Lauren, racing, beautiful color block stripes, older polo tag right there, 100% nylon shell, 100% polyester lining, and size medium. So it's a full zip windbreaker type jacket. It's got PRL racing on the front, two hand warmer pockets, a full zip YKK zipper. It looks like it was somewhat like waterproof lining at some point. You can see some of the material breaking down a little bit on the inside. That's all right because this isn't really gonna be as much for function, but for fashion. The left sleeve, it's got a nice cycle patch. It's got a polo capital spell out. I feel something in the pockets. Previous owner, or maybe Grassy Hill Auctions stuffed it with tissue. Oh, here we go. Look at that, we got a stuff sack. Wasn't really expecting that. Stuff the jacket. I guess you could take that with you somewhere. It looks like a mesh lining by the shoulders, probably for some sort of ventilation. Yep, there's our vents in the back and it's got a pocket back here. There's a piece of fabric on the collar. The actual graphics are in really, really good condition. No cracking. The way that this is built, you would not want to machine wash it. The paints and the detail would be aggravated in the wash and it would just continue with some color break down. All right, let's put this baby on, see how it looks. I'm not gonna put it on over this flannel because I don't wanna get the flannel flaky, but I will put it on over the shirt. Sean, if you're watching this video, thanks for the shirt. And thanks again, Mr. Wolf, for the 401 Closet Filson. Thank you to Grassy Hill Auctions yet again for this absolutely well-fitting cycle jacket windbreaker. It's actually really, really good fitting as a medium on me. This is a very nice fit. About to ride my bicycle. Super happy with the jacket. It does have an old camping nylon-y smell to it. And as you guys saw, it does have some flaking, which definitely is going to affect the value. But because it is such a rare piece, which I'm pretty certain that it's worth a couple hundred dollars. The cool thing is, is after I reached out and I said, let me pay you more for it. I really think I underpaid. And he said, don't worry about it. I really don't care about the money. That speaks very well of character and I do appreciate it. The Grassy Hill Auctions is an awesome piece. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, put it in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.